guys, what's up? Welcome back to the Sydney and Luke Troop. I'm Sydney and I'm Luke. And we're in Israel. And we just landed at the airport in Tel Aviv. Tel Aviv is one of the biggest cities in Israel. And once again, we're gonna tell you the best things to do for kids, not for adults, but for kids. Let's get to it. Israel is amazing, and there's so much to do here for kids. We happen to land on a Saturday afternoon, which is still the Sabbath, so no trains and buses are running. So we had to take a taxi to our hotel. We stayed at the Hilton Tel Aviv on the beach. OMG, the pool is huge, and it's like right next to the Mediterranean. So in the beach at Tel Aviv, there's a bunch of things you can do. You can rent surfboards or windsurfers or paddle boarders. Let's try and surf. Yay! We went in October and it's hot and sunny every single day. And that's why the people that live there are at the beach all the time. Tel Aviv has this bike path that goes along the beach. It has bikes and stand-up scooters. So another thing you have to do in Tel Aviv yeah. is rent one of these scooters. And you can ride up and down the beach and for only a few shekels. And there's a bunch of kinds like lime and bird, but we prefer wind. Yeah, because it's really, really fun. Come on, let's go. Ready? Your parents are gonna wanna go to all the holy places. That's why you guys probably came. We do too. We also wanna see where Jesus was born and lived and died. We took a taxi to Jerusalem, which is huge. The biggest city in Israel, actually. You gotta go to the Church of the Holy Sepulchre. It's really, really, really crowded, but for us, it was a really important thing to see because there's a room upstairs where you crawl under a table where Jesus was crucified. Downstairs, there's a huge rock where you come in. That's where Jesus' body was laid. That's where Jesus was buried. We waited for hours and the line moved so slowly. But in the end, it was so worth it. My parents wanted to walk around Jerusalem, which was good for us because we got to check out all the little shops in the markets. They're everywhere. The street that Jesus walked carrying the cross on his way to be crucified. There were people carrying their own crosses too. They were singing and they were chanting. We're in Jerusalem. The last place we walked to was a famous old wall. This is the holiest place in the world for Jewish people. It's called the Western Wall. Another place you gotta go is Bethlehem. It's not a little town, but there is a little church here. The Church of the Nativity, where Jesus was born. Again, huge crowds. We had to wait in another long line to climb down some steps into a little cave. That's Jesus' birthplace. So cool. <laughs> if you come to Israel, you have to, have to, have to go to the Dead Sea. This was probably the funnest place. We slapped the mud all over ourselves. It's supposed to be a special healing mud. Even my mom did it. And then we got to float. You really do float. We couldn't believe it. My brother tried to sink, but his whole body stayed on top of the water. And you can't stay in there very long because there's so much salt. And then we rode a camel. That thing almost threw us off when he stood up. It was worth it. It cost like maybe seven bucks. The Jordan River was where Jesus was baptized. The water was so muddy. I wondered if there were snakes and alligators in the Jordan River, but it is clean. How do we know? Because we got baptized here. That was magical. And we realized after Jordan, the country, was on the other side of the river. 
Don't try and swim over. They say you'll get thrown in jail. When we drove into the West Bank, that's the Palestinian area. There were these crazy signs that told Israelis they couldn't go there and was dangerous to their lives. It was all so hard to understand. We had to go through a checkpoint each time with Israeli soldiers and machine guns. That was pretty intense. Our last night at the hotel, Hilton was throwing a huge party for the holiday. We ended up going to Israel over a holiday called Sukkot, which means hot since the Jews lived in huts when they wandered in the desert for 40 years. So Hilton built this really, really neat hut, and that's where the party was. Well, unfortunately, it's time to go. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and give this video a big thumbs up, and make sure to subscribe that little red thing, and, and turn sure on the post notifications, and we'll, we'll see, see you guys next time. time. Good. Bye. Here, let me go out there and show you. Look at Luke. <laughs>